tanker back we got another ace tanker this time it is combat ineffective in his uh t54 mod one and he is on corellia and or corellia what am i saying here malinovka i'm sorry and he is mid-tier and so um he's going to the hill like any armored tank should and uh He's fighting a Lanson, which a Lanson is is not a very good matchup for a mod one. Normally, because if you see, he can pen anywhere on this Lanson. And this Lanson has to aim heavily in order to get shots at him. So the Lanson ignores him. So Jason, or Combat Ineffective, as you guys know him realizes that he's got the reload on the Lanson. He can fire twice. And he's, uh, at this point, bouncing shots, and he's got a nice hold-down position. And this position really, really works because there's no Artie. And so he's got a T-30 spotted, and goes ahead and puts a shot into the T-34 black. This is going to be action-packed from start to finish. I've already watched it. Um, so there's a lot of heavy hitters up here. And uh, combat is, that's a nice shot in IS-6's um, cupola there. Good, good shot selection. He's just playing it safe. And... Um, trying to stay away from that E75, which I don't blame him. And you notice he's in third person here. He's trying to bait shots or figure out when guys are not looking at him, right? So he's just being a pest. And if, he's already up to 1,500 damage by just being a pest. And you notice he's using mostly standard rounds here. So you see how he's, how he's looking at that E75. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that E75 is looking back, but he doesn't have a good shot. So that E75 fires, and combat uh, goes ahead and puts another shot in. It doesn't matter if he misses here, as long as he's playing safely. Um, that's all he's got to do. There's another shot into the T30. That's kind of a scary poke, but the T30 now has fired. And... Uh, combat knows he's got a long reload and he's just looking for a nice shot and gets one more into the T-30 there's a good shot into the uh, E-75's cupola and they have pushed them off the hill it's currently 6-4 to four. his team is losing uh, on the other side of the map but that is fairly inconsequential now, this position here, um, he needs gold rounds to pin that, the side of that turret. Um, and uh, I don't know if he knows that or maybe wasn't thinking about it. So, so the uh, T-30 is trying to find a shot on him. And any time you see a T-30 aimed in like that, they think they've got a shot. So it's a good idea to back off. But regardless, that uh, E7 or that T30 missed. So this thing does have very good armor. I'm not sure. I might not have done as well because I probably wouldn't have challenged that, uh, that T30, to be honest with you. And he tracks the T30 again which is always a good thing, but he's getting rather aggressive, and, I, and uh, we'll see what happens here. 2,300 damage, he must do more. <laughs> 704 bounces him, so now he's up to 2,300 pounds. So, and uh, no amount of wiggling is going to save him there, but... He is able to put a shot in, and he's probably got time for another shot. Probably should have shot side turret there. But uh, maybe a little bit too greedy there, and suddenly he has low hit points. 
It happens fast when you're mid-tier, you know, against really scary stuff. The trouble is, so he knows that that T-30 just fired. So he's got time for at least one more shot. Maybe he can take that guy out. Good job. Now he is down to only gold rounds. And he's going to track this T-34 black and keep him in, in locked in position. That's an expensive way to lock somebody in position, but however it works. Looks like he's got maybe a shot on that 704. It's hard to say. Oh, he's just seen that he does. And uh, there's a nice shot into the lower plate. So things are slowing down just a little bit at the moment. But he is pre and he's able to get a shot on that 704 and just pull back. Nice job facing the uh, Scorpion G. And there's, there's some funky funky stuff going on there and he gets taken out finally by the 704 but not before he does 3400 damage and uh, 2700 blocked and 900 assist so let's go ahead and fast forward this it is 13 to 9 so the game was already won thankfully and uh, that's it let's go ahead and take a look at the after action report on this Okay, here's Combat's final uh, end plates here. He got an ace tanker, and he did uh, 1,452 base XP. That's creeping up there, boys and girls. Wow. Their Scorpion G looks like he did, uh, or the, that's a, is it a Borsig? That looks like a Scorpion G, 4,600 damage. But being on the front line, uh, Combat managed to rack up th almost 3,500 damage against a lot of tier nines so 34 shots 28 hits 15 pins uh, fire a lot miss some but um, it's a good result because he ended up doing 3400 damage 2700 block by armor that that thing in the right position really can block a lot of damage and it looks like he had a thousand assist 59,000 credits he fired quite a bit of gold there towards the end because he was out of standard rounds and uh, 4,500 XP, so that must be uh, due to a personal reserve and the premium vehicle. Wow, that's that's going to be good for your crew combat. Okay, guys, well, I think that wraps this one up. I appreciate you guys watching. We will catch you next time. Toaster out.